Hey, Steelers fans, I'm Thomas Mott. Welcome to our Pittsburgh Steelers News Room video here on a Wednesday. Before we go ahead and jump into a new video focusing on the big defensive starter position battles that we need to focus on heading into training camp. First, though, we are so close to 15,000 subscribers here on the channel. Everyone here at Chat Sports filling in, you know, different hosts, different days have worked really hard to get to 15K, and we're so close. 14,584. We are 416 away from getting to 15K. If you guys hate the Ravens, you hate the Browns, you hate the Bengals, subscribe to the Steelers uh, channel right now down below to help us grow and hopefully reach as many people as possible with the latest Pittsburgh Steelers news and rumors. All right, so as the title of today's video suggests, it goes back to a video I did last week. We did offensive starter position battles. You can check that one out here on the channel. We're going to get into the defensive starting position battles that you need to keep an eye on heading into training camp. Where are the spots that, you know, you get to training camp and the best player is going to actually win? You know, there are some position groups like outside linebacker, TJ Watt's not losing his job. Safety, Minka Fitzpatrick is not going to lose their job either. So here are the key ones that I want to dive into today, starting with the defensive line, most notably the interior defensive line. Now, you go back a couple of weeks, this was not going to be a big battle. You kind of already understood. It'd be Cameron Hayward and Stephon Tuitt as kind of your two big starters there on the interior defensive line. Well, as you know, and we've covered here extensively on the channel, Stephon Tuitt did retire. There were reports saying he was, and there were reports saying he was not going to, and then, of course, it comes back down to he did abruptly retire uh, and ends his NFL career, which creates kind of a hole on the defensive line. Now, thankfully, the Pittsburgh Steelers kind of knew this was coming with Stephon Tuitt because they did spend a third-round draft pick on DeMarvin Leal, the, I guess, outside pass rusher, inside pass rusher, hybrid DT versus DN, whatever you want to call him, the hybrid guy out of Texas A&M, and he rolls in there to be a really, really good, I would think, option to get a lot of reps on a rotational defensive line front. Now, we'd say starter on the defensive line. Most NFL defensive lines these days have a kind of rotation by committee or defensive line by committee mentality. There isn't four players or three players, depending on what defense you run, that are going to play, you know, 95% of the snaps. You're going to rotate in there, and so your starters will play 55 or 60% of the snaps during the year, but a lot of guys are going to rotate in, hence why we're looking at Loudermilk versus Leal as kind of the first big battle to keep an eye on, especially on this defensive line. I really hope Leal is the one who do, that's going to win this battle. I think that Leal has a lot of potential as a pass rusher and really a run stopper on the interior defense because, really, you go back two years, this guy was really going to be a top 10 draft pick. If it wasn't for a really lackluster 2021 season at Texas A&M, he would have been in the top 10, but it was so lackluster and so... Not bad, but average play in the SEC that he fell all the way down to the third round where you saw Pittsburgh able to snap him up. So you hope that he slipped a little bit, getting in the right defensive system with the right coaching, the right players around him, Cameron Hayward mentoring, can really bring him back to the first round talent that he was really supposed to be heading into the 2021 season. But if he is able to win this, he's going to get a lot of reps and a lot of opportunity to make a big impact on a defensive line that desperately needs some help on the interior, especially in stopping the run. I mean, last year, one of their big issues on defense was not getting the passer. I mean, they've always did a good job of TJ Watt being able to do that, but it's slowing down the run, and the guys in the middle have a big impact on that, and so keep an eye out on the Loudermilk versus Leal position battle. It's one of the big ones I'm watching, especially on a very important place on the defensive line heading into training camp. Um, what do you guys think? Best player on this defense? Let's have some fun. Add Rick Pitt comment down below. Are we all going to say TJ Watt? Is there anybody that can rival Watt as the best player uh, on this defense? I don't think so. I expect a lot of uh, TJ Watt replies to the pinned comment down below. But give me your thoughts. Best player on the defense in the comment section right now. Our next position battle, I think it's very, very fascinating. It's the linebacker position, most notably the inside linebacker position because obviously outside linebacker, like I said, TJ Watt, not going to lose his spot. It's the inside battle. Now, I know what you're thinking, Thomas. This is very clearly Miles Jack battle to lose. Well, I mean, uh, that's true. It should be Miles Jack winning this battle, but Devin Bush still has a tiny chance. And make no mistake about it, this is a battle. This is not, you know, set in stone. All right, Miles Jack, you're, you're the starter. Now, they paid him a lot, but they also drafted Devin Bush high enough to really continue to try to pour as much resources and energy and coaching into him to give him a chance to win this battle. And even though you can both play them at the same time, at times, in certain defensive schemes on the Pittsburgh Steelers, it really is going to come down to when you get into more of a third down position, who's the one linebacker, the one middle linebacker left on the field, and while it should be Miles Jack, Miles Jack's not necessarily coming off of a super exciting year, and now Devin Bush isn't either, and you can go through 
what he did uh, in 2021. 70 tackles, one forced fumble, two TFLs, and four pass breakups. Not like we're saying Bush had any sort of special season, hence why we're talking about him being in a very big battle here. But he goes into a contract year. He goes into a year where you're either going to get a bunch of money if you play well this year, or not as much money if you were to play poorly. So obviously he has a lot of incentive to battle it out with Miles Jack. And even though we like Miles Jack, and I thought it was a great signing by the Pittsburgh Steelers in free agency, and we think that he can really be an impactful player in the middle of the Steeler defense. And remember, he's coming off of a pretty lackluster year with the Jacksonville Jaguars. He seems to be at that kind of stage in his career where it's starting to start to kind of trend downhill. And it's like, you know, is he going to continue to slide downhill? Could he be revitalize his career with Pittsburgh? Who knows? But it's not as set in stone. When you think Miles Jack, you can't think back to three years ago with Miles Jack, who was, you know, top three linebacker in the National Football League. Now he slided maybe out of the top five, for sure out of the top, you know, 10. Like, I, 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 like where is he at in terms of middle linebackers? So this is a very intriguing battle. It is a battle that a lot of people are overlooking because they just assume that Miles Jack is going to be great and Devin Bush is not. But make no mistake about it, this is a very real defensive battle right now. The Pittsburgh Steelers, the winner is going to get a ton of snaps, and I mean a ton of snaps, uh, going into the 2022 season. This is going to play out, though, all throughout training camp and into the preseason, so we won't know for a while, but one to keep an eye on as we continue to head on. As I mentioned earlier, continue to subscribe to the channel if you guys are brand new. If you're first time watching the channel, myself, Tom, Harrison, a bunch of other guys, Mitch, uh, all here at Chat Sports, do fill in on this show, trying to give you guys the latest and greatest Pittsburgh Steelers content. So if you like the Steelers and you like nonstop Steelers stuff, right, that's the whole point of this channel. You can go to ESPN and maybe once a week for three or four seconds, Jeremy Fowler will talk about the Pittsburgh Steelers quarterback battle. Like maybe if, if you're lucky on the six o'clock sports center, you'll get that much Steeler coverage here. We're giving you Steeler coverage almost every single day. We do news, we do rumors, we do position breakdowns like this, we do roster battles, free agents, people you could sign, trades, you know, fun, fun mailbag videos, as many videos as possible to keep you guys entertained all offseason long because we know the offseason's long and not a lot of news and stuff rolls across your timeline. We try to get you guys the best content we can, so go down below and subscribe for more great content all offseason long. Okay, the big battle. Let's talk about the real battle here. I'm going to save the best for last. It's the cornerback spot. I mean, truly, you have three cornerbacks battling it out for two spots. And I don't think even the Pittsburgh Steelers know who's going to win both of these battles. Who is the best cornerback on this roster? The kind of main question I have, is it Levi Wallace? Is it Keller Witherspoon? Is it somebody else? Like, who is the best cornerback on this roster? I think that as it currently stands, you'd expect Wallace and Akella Witherspoon to be the winners. You'd expect that they would go ahead and beat out Cameron Sutton on the outside. But there's no guarantee. And I think this is going to go back again through training camp and go all the way up until the end of the preseason because they're going to swap people in and out. Different people are going to have time to start. You might see Wallace and obviously uh, Sutton starting out there. You might see you know, Akella Witherspoon and, and Sutton starting out. Like, who knows what the starting combinations are going to be. But this is a very, very big battle right now, and I'm very curious to see who's going to go ahead and win it. As I mentioned, my guess is Wallace and Akella Witherspoon. I've been a Witherspoon guy dating back to his time with the 49ers. Been one of those kind of slow growers at the cornerback spot. Not that great early on. Gets played a bunch of reps with the 49ers and kind of comes into his own, especially recently, and hence getting the contract, obviously, uh, by the Pittsburgh Steelers this offseason. So it's going to be very, very interesting to see who wins this battle, but I am very much in favor of uh, Wallace and Witherspoon. We'll talk more about them here in a second. First, let me just ask you guys. Who starts at both cornerback battles, right? Who, who do you think is cornerback one, cornerback two? Give me your prediction for the duo right now down below in the comments section. Regardless of who it is, and we can start with Witherspoon here, they got to be better than what the cornerback play was this past year. I mean, we talk about the defensive line being an issue and stopping the run being an issue. They weren't good against the pass either. It was one of the big reasons why the Steelers were unable to win games with, you know, the offensive line struggling and Big Ben struggling and, you know, the running game being not so great. Like, there are all these issues that we talked about, the defensive run, uh, run, run stopping ability, I meant. Whether it's Witherspoon or a guy like Levi Wallace who was brought in, I think these are two savvy veterans who are going to be able to shore up the outside and at least give this defense a chance against high, powerful teams like the Cincinnati Bengals. And that's kind of the team you're focusing in on here. Who's guarding Jamar Chase? Who's guarding T. Higgins? I mean, it's going to be a very, very interesting battle twice a year against those two guys, as well as the rest of the uh, schedule that we talked about here on the channel um, as well. Okay, let's go back through these really quickly here. Our defensive line, mostly interior, mostly Loudermilk versus Leal. That's kind of the big battle in terms of the young guys winning, who gets a lot of snaps in the defensive line. Linebacker, again, a lot of people won't say this is as hot. They just assume Miles Jack is going to be great this year. I hope he is. I think Miles Jack was a really good signing this offseason, but Devin Bush has one final chance to kind of save his career in Pittsburgh before being sent somewhere else this offseason in a you know, free agent signing. And finally, the big one, cornerback. Keeping an eye on that one. I think that one's going to be absolutely massive. I think it'll be Wallace uh, and Witherspoon, but who really knows? We'll follow up and keep an eye on that battle as well. 
Okay, with position battle, are you looking at the closest? Let me know down below right now in the comment section. Obviously, if you missed our uh, our offensive position battle video, I think 5,000 of you guys watched that one. It was last week, so check it out on the channel. But give me your uh, comment down below uh, for the question on your screen. Okay, we'll end on this. NBA Free Agency, it is happening tomorrow on Thursday, and the guys at the main chat sports studios up in Dallas will be live for full coverage. I mean, full coverage of NBA Free Agency, which is always wild. I mean, you're already seeing stuff saying that uh, John Wall could potentially be going to the Clippers. Like, they're going to cover it all in a really fun way, a lot less more chill and inviting way versus the seriousness that happens on major networks. So go down below and subscribe to the main channel or just search Chat Sports above me right now in the YouTube search bar. It'll pop right up. 300,000 have subscribed there. You guys should jump in on the gang the way you can be a part of NBA Free Agency. Okay, Ultimate Day on our Pittsburgh Steelers News and Rumor video. I'm Thomas Mott signing off for the rest of your day. Thank you.